Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Girl with the Jan family. Today we're going to talk about the differences between India and China, um, democracy and communist government. Um, yeah. We've done a few other videos on this from the the attack that China did on the soldiers at the border just recently and how India has disclosed how many soldiers passed, how many were captured, um, what happened, and... Uh, China has not reported anything China about did not who died. No. Not anything. No. China did not report anything about their soldiers. Um, they made it sound like nobody died. Um, and the U.S. just the other day came out with news saying pretty much almost exactly what India was saying about 20 Indian soldiers... Um, though the number that the Chinese disclosed after this was lower, what they said was lower, but the U.S. said at least 35 Chinese soldiers had died, um, and that as a, a tactic to, to show India um, kind of who's boss, and it didn't really work out in their favor. Not at um, all. But the Chinese people never knew the soldiers that died. They didn't get to, you know, say their goodbyes. Um, they're not choosing to do what they're doing. They have a general who tells them what to do. Right. So we're sad to see that any soldiers died. Um, we do blame the Communist Party and the people yeah. above that are putting these orders out. Um, you know, not really blaming the Chinese people because they have been protesting, wanting to know who the soldiers were, um, who died during this time. Um, but the difference, you know, India is open, they're telling what happened, um, and it pretty much matches what the U.S. has found out what happened as well. You know, we had the mail issue. Yeah, and about the mail. Like, it was just like China and India versus, and the China package had... Not exactly where it came from and then from unknown sender, and it wasn't what it said it was in the package. It was not earrings at all. No, the police found that out. Yeah, we didn't open it. The police did. And then for the Indian package, it was a nice big package. It had a seal on it. It said exactly where it was from, exactly where who sent it, exactly where it came from, like I said. And numbers. it was what it was. It, it was what it said, and we actually ordered it. We didn't order the China thing at all. We didn't order earrings from China, which yeah. never came. Um, yeah. I mean, just one thing after the other. We've done some speeches from Trump and some of the other um, politicians, and yeah. they've said, like, you know, violating patents. They've talked about them, like, violating treaties. You know, obviously... They, I, from my understanding from the U.S. standpoint, they didn't officially cross over the line of control, but they were in the no man's zone where they weren't supposed to be. So there's supposed to be like nobody on either side, like they're pushing, 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 pushing. And I don't know who they're expecting, like nobody's going to see, but satellite images had picked up on it way before anybody else did. Like, yeah, but these are the differences, like the U.S., is pretty open on what happens here. India is open. It's a democracy. The people know pretty much instantly when it happens. Um, you know, this is how it should be. You shouldn't be silenced. You shouldn't, you should have freedom of speech. You know, the poor doctor that spoke out about the coronavirus that was disappeared, you know, thrown in jail, and then they threw him back to the hospital because they needed his help. And then he died from coronavirus, like the irony in that. But that's how they treat their people. They are not treating them like people. No. Um, and here's another case is what we're trying to bring up is the coronavirus cases that are listed on the website. You can tell the difference on the countries that are open and honest and the countries that are not. No. United yeah. States now has confirmed over 2 million cases of coronavirus. I didn't realize it had gone that high. Yeah, me neither. Um, and last then, time it was over a million. Yeah. It's over 2 million. Go ahead. And then 700,000 plus 
recovered. Right. And then 100,000 plus deaths. Yes, so 122,000 deaths from 2 million cases. And so there are some people that still have it and have not recovered yet. And hopefully, I mean, the number is still really high. This is really extreme for the amount of time that we've had. It's been less than six months and yeah. probably four months since the coronavirus has entered into the U.S. Um, so this is huge. Like flu season, we normally have maybe about 30,000 deaths, but there's a vaccine for that. We kind of know what to do to prevent it. This is extreme and this is after shutdown. So yeah. We've been opening back up, and I did notice the numbers are kind of up and down, up and down, depending on um, the states and, and um, where you are. So it kind of it kind of went down for a little bit, and it spiked again a little bit. Now it's coming down again. So it's still one of those things. We made a video, and we'll post that soon, about things you can do to help prevent getting it. We've been... Um, healthy here since the lockdown yep. um, my husband has still had to go to work but we'll kind of share with you what we've been doing here at the Jan family to keep healthy but here I'm gonna change this now go ahead Anji type in India there we go mm -hmm. and so India actually has 450,000 cases of coronavirus so that is a lot since the last time yeah. we checked it's hugely spiked um, but over 250,000 people have recovered from it. So that's half. That's better than the U.S. is doing on that. Um, but there's been 14,000 deaths. Um, so the num I, we don't want to see anybody die from no. something like this. This Not makes us, us sad. But the numbers for deaths right now aren't as extreme as the U.S., um, so I'm hoping if you guys are getting it or not, hopefully not getting it, that you can keep good practices up, you know, keep the sick people, you know, in quarantine, keep the mask on, keep six feet away, uh, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. But that's a whole nother video. This we're showing it slowly creeping up, 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 up. So India is going on the incline. So we're hoping, I know stuff is opening up, but we're hoping it doesn't continue to increase. Yeah. Um, but now we'll, we'll go ahead, Anji, type in China. So China, where this started from, and we know it started in Wuhan, to have, you know, been contained is what we were kind of under the impression from the Chinese yeah. government, like we said, the difference is. Um, but they have said 83,000 83, confirmed cases. 78,000 people have recovered from that, and there were only 4,000 deaths. So it's basically more than about 90% of the people got recovered, and only a little bit, like 10% maybe, died from the place that it started in. Right. And they opened up, and then I heard they had another shutdown because they got more cases. But looking at these numbers, you wouldn't notice it. Because some of the days they have uh, one case or three cases, six cases. And if you look at the graph, it's like starts to go up a little bit, then it comes down. And then it spikes. And then it's like... Um, 20,000 confirmed cases in one day and then all of a sudden it's back down to wait a minute less than 2,000 February 1,000 the next day they had 20,000 then the next day they had 1,000 again and then it went down to almost nothing yeah. nothing that's crazy even the graph is like it goes up and then it plateaus like there's no more cases it's really hard you know, we were talking about this earlier, like, do they have a vaccine that nobody knows about? Yeah. Or like, is the government just hiding information like they did with the the interaction with India at the border? This like, is, is why this just hidden? we need to investigate because mm -hmm. who knows what else they are hiding. They could be hiding the deaths or they could be having a vaccine right there. Yeah. And we know they were holding... Um, ventilators and masks and reselling them back to the people that gave them to them so that they could get through price. the virus for a lot more price 
So such a difference between India and China, democracy and openness, and and then you have the Communist Party, you know, just, you know, keeping closed doors and and trying to kind of get away with stuff. Like, yeah. they think nobody's going to notice that when all these other countries have hundreds and hundreds, they have five cases a day? Five? From the place that it originated from? So, yeah, either somebody's sitting at their desk playing crazy numbers on the computer or the government's hiding it or you guys have a vaccine that you're not selling to the rest of the world or even letting the world know about yeah. but that kind of I question that a little yeah. bit um, so just another something to think about you know so I hope you guys are all staying home if you can stay safe um, wear masks social distancing you know we watch the um, Jagannath cart festival which was yeah. beautiful and it was amazing to see that there wasn't a bazillion a billion people there um so i'm glad they were still able to do it but i'm also glad that most everybody watched it on tv yeah so stay safe stay home if you can and uh don't forget to join our wonderful family and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.